it's good to get together um, a couple of times a year. We usually get together maybe two, three times a year, and uh, as always, the, uh, the game evolves. Uh, every time we come back and there's things to discuss and we worked a lot, a lot on the hooker and what his role in the scrum is. Uh, that will, took up quite a bit of the, the discussion today because that's something that has evolved in the last couple of months since we, we uh, met before and also uh, some individual uh, drills with the harness and whatnot that we can take back to the provinces. Well, obviously the big one is the change in the hit rule. Like, um, you know, you were allowed to hit and engage and, uh, and a big smash uh, at the beginning of the scrum, but now that's way more controlled, uh, teams are closer. So it's really, um, you could have got away with a big smash and a real power scrum, get the ball in and out uh, one time, but now you have to work more as a team. Um, the hit isn't the emphasis now, it's, it's after the hit that you have have a period to settle, you have to build the pressure, get the technique right and then uh, uh, scrummage from there. I had, I had uh, uh, the harness on simulating you know, that um, I'm pushing against something but I have to keep my own balance and um, in a scrum the pressure shifts, you can shift, you may get pushed back, you may go forward, you have to chase your feet, pressure can come on from the side, so you have to be able to adjust to that, recognise it and uh, counteract it, and uh, that, that's pretty much what we were doing there. Look, there's an awful lot of good uh, young front row players out there, and um, uh, it's, it's not just front rowers, like it's a whole eight have to, to scrummage, and I think at underage, in the last couple of years, uh, we our scrummaging has got better at the underage level, and it's transferred, uh, you know, Ireland's scrum the last 10 years has been really, really good, and it's just about uh, continuing that, but uh, specifically for front rowers, there's a lot, there's a, there's a real depth of good young fellas um, coming through, and so our job to keep coaching them and, and so when they get through our hands that they go into the professional setup that they're fully established players that they're not going into a professional setup learning all this this is all done they've experienced it they've played at a high level and then uh, that transfers through a lot quicker than when they get to the professional level